What is going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in the Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews. I'm so glad to have you here. Of course, you know who I am. I am Mr. Fat Boy, a.k.a. Mr. Juan, a.k.a. the hardest working man in this fragrance game, a.k.a. the straight freestyle king in this fragrance game. No edits, no do-overs, one take, baby, and we get it right. Woo! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we got us a bougie versus budget. Y'all love these videos. I can't wait to share it with you. But before we do all that, I want to say thank you for showing the love. Thank you for dropping the likes and the subs and all that. And thank you for just being supportive of this channel. We really appreciate it. If you are new and this is the first time you've seen one of these videos, come on in, baby. Come on in. This is nothing like you've seen before. You get genuineness, chill free, positive re uh, reviews and talk on fragrances, man. You can't beat that. This is my passion, this is my love. You can see behind me, this is just one corner of the fragrance room, baby. Plenty more to see. So if you are new, hit that like and subscribe. Join the Fat Boy family. Make sure you get the notifications because I put in the work video every day for y'all. Content, 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 baby. All right, let's do this bougie versus budget. Y'all ready? Let's go. We'll do it right after the break. You know how we do it, baby. No salad, no dessert, just straight steak and beans. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews, Bougie vs. Budget Baby starts now. All right, welcome back, baby. Let's not mess around. The two fragrances we got today... One is a bougie, one is a budget. One will run you about 200 to 180. Once in the end, it's from the house of bond number nine. It's Coney Island, baby. Super slept on. I mean, slept on as a summer fragrance as it can be. One of the best bond number nines you'll get is Coney Island for the summer. No doubt. Look at my juice. I got to get a refill this bad boy. And this one comes from Making Sense. And it's called Boardwalk. I've worn both of these extensively. I got my full feelings on it. Let's find out if the budget can live up to the bougie. Save yourself some money. You're looking at about anywhere from 20 bucks to 50 bucks, depending on how big of a bottle you want of this bad boy. I'll leave the link for Making Sense below. I'll also leave the link for FatboyFragrance.com where you can get all your decant needs on a plethora of different fragrances from niche, designer, the clone houses. I got you covered, baby. FatboyFragrance.com where the customer is always right. Oh yeah, I don't forget, baby. The road to 3K, I almost forgot. Leave a comment, like the video, and make sure you're a subscriber and you will be entered in the grand giveaway if we hit 3K subscribers by the end of July, which is very possible. We're on pace. Keep putting in the love and keep sharing the love. Keep spreading the word. All right, let's go. We're gonna spray the boozy on the watch hand and we're gonna spray the budget on the other hand. Let's try them out. Put the, put the uh, bougie in the air first. Now, how can I describe this fragrance? It is a very aquatic fragrance, super aquatic, very unique. It has this really nice outdoor going to a cookout vibe that I absolutely love about this fragrance. It does feel like I'm on the boardwalk. God, that smells good. It's one of the most underrated fragrances in Bond Number no. 9's collection, without a doubt. Nobody talks about it. It smells great. And performance on it's not bad for a fresh, aquatic kind of style fragrance. This is an amazing fragrance. No doubt about it. Some people say they get a little bit of barbecue sauce vibe from there. I don't get much of that, but I can see where people kind of get that sweetness tone there. A sweet, aquatic, different vibe that has some sharpness to it. And a little bit of bite that I think is great because it makes it a little bit more unique. All right, and here is a good look at Mickey Sands' Boardwalk. Mike always Mike Mikey Dinsmore making sense always has great bottles. Always makes about makes the stuff look a little bit cool on the inside, as you can see there. Looks like a specimen of looks like a urine sample. I'm not gonna lie, Mikey. That kind of looks like a urine sample. A bad urine sample, but yes. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully it don't smell like urine. It doesn't. I've worn it already. But let's go ahead and put it in the air. Oh, yes. Yes. Put in the skin. Now, my criteria for a budget being worth the bougie is this. 
anywhere from 20 bucks, you know, the 50, 40, depending on how much you want, how big of a size you want, to this is gonna run you anywhere from 180 to 250, depending on where you can get it. Um, this one right here is not an easy one to find discounted. I got mine a long time ago on Fragrance by Can. I think I paid 180. And um, that was a good deal. All right, I got them both on the hand now. And I gotta say that the boozy does smell better. It does come off the skin really well. Where this one kind of doesn't jump off the skin as much. Boardwalk doesn't jump off the skin. Now to a person who's not familiar with um, Boardwalk Number no. 9's uh, uh, um, Coney Island, probably wouldn't notice the difference. But me being a person who's really well versed in this fragrance, and I love it. I can tell you that there's, this one is definitely has more of a stoutness to it in the opening. This one doesn't. I'm going to spray a little bit more on the skin because I don't think the sprayers are really fair. This is a really good sprayer. Yeah. So I'm going to say this one is probably off the smell in the air in there, about 80% there. 75 to 80% closeness to this one. But here's the deal. There's not a lot of clones out there of Coney Island. It doesn't mean that it's the only one. It's the only one we got. I think Dew is making one. Pretty sure I saw something now to do a Facebook group. It's coming. Um, but this one is close enough to justify the money, in my opinion. Now, as far as performance goes, I still give the edge to the OG. This is a really good performing fragrance, man. Solid. I would say four hours, maybe six hours at best. An hour of sillage, you know, a scent bubble around you. Um, you got to respray it, of course, by the end of the day. Depending on how much heat you get. But this thing is, is popping off my hand. Whereas Mikey's is kind of settled down. It's still there. It smells 80% there. Or 75% there. But it's not jumping off my skin as much as I wish it would. Coney Island is a very unique fragrance. It's very, very aquatic. And a little bit of sweet. And it really is unique. And it jumps off the skin. And you can smell it. Whereas this one's kind of holding back a little bit. But overall, I give it a grade of about 75% worth the time. So in my opinion, the budget is worth it. But if you wanted to spend the money on the bougie, it's still worth it too. In my opinion, this fragrance should be in everybody's collection. It's a great summer fragrance. Severely slept on. Not synthetic smelling. Really nice. Really well done by Bond. And super slept on, like I said. But if you wanted to dabble into it to kind of get an idea of what it smells like, this is close enough to where you would get a feeling on it. I don't know what that is. Hold on. call that was somebody was calling me i had my phone on i apologize i know what that was no edits baby no edits somebody was calling me but i ain't answer it this late calling my phone this late what's wrong with you come on <laughs> so all right so the bougie is still better the budget is good enough sample it yourself you can sample this one at fatboyfragrance.com if you want to sample at fatboyfragrance.com where the customer is always right y'all stay safe Y'all stay well, baby. And if you smell good and you feel good, then, baby, it's going to be all good. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews is out.